Welcome back to Formula One News. The big breaking news is Mick Schumacher's confirmation as Mercedes' reserve and third driver for the upcoming season. What does this indicate for Mercedes' W14 development? Is it possible that Mick Schumacher will return to Formula One in 2024? Mick Schumacher is leaving Ferrari in order to race for one of the teams his father competed for. The decision puts an end to Schumacher's four-year relationship with Ferrari the team for which his father, Michael Schumacher, won five Formula One championships. In his final three seasons as a Formula One driver, Michael drove for Mercedes from 2010 to 2012. Mercedes has revealed that Mick Schumacher will be the team's third driver for the 2023 Formula One season, in addition to Lewis Hamilton and George Russell. At the conclusion of this season, the son of the seven-time F1 winner was fired by the Haas F1 team. Mercedes was in desperate need of assistance after a disappointing 2022 season in which the 2021 World Constructors' Champions only managed to win one race. Daniel Ricciardo was thought to be interested in the position, but when Ricciardo returned to Red Bull as their third driver, the 23-year-old was able to join Mercedes. He had a strong track record in the junior categories before moving up to Formula 1. He won five of the final 11 races, giving him a run of nine podium finishes and culminating in the 2018 FIA Formula 3 European Champion title. Mick won two races and finished on eight podiums in his sophomore season in the FIA Formula 2 Championship to clinch the 2020 championship. Having Mick on board is fantastic. On the track, he's already displayed remarkable potential, and I can't wait to see how he applies that to the development side as well. In this crucial position, he has a lot to contribute. According to Marcus Schaefer, as a member of the Mercedes-AMG Patronas F1 family, Mick is essential to our ambitious goals for 2023. Schumacher, though, lacked an experienced teammate to observe and pick up tips from during his first F1 season. He was paired with fellow rookie Nikita Mazepin, and the team came in last in the standings with neither driver earning any points. Schumacher developed in his second season, Due to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, Mazepin was fired prior to the 2022 season. Mazepin was replaced by veteran Kevin Magnussen, who improved the results for both Haas and Schumacher. With an 8th place finish at the British Grand Prix, Schumacher earned his first points. The following week, he improved on that performance with a 6th place finish at the Austrian Grand Prix. For the 2023 season, Nico Hülkenberg took the place of Schumacher since Haas believed the German driver hadn't made enough progress. The pensive Schumacher might go back to racing after his tenure as Mercedes' backup driver. Mick Schumacher won't compete in 2023, but that doesn't mean he'll miss out on the sport in general. A very sweet spot has opened up for him at Mercedes, and while many find it difficult to accept this decision given that Nico Hülkenberg hasn't been particularly impressive in his F1 career and has been away from the sport for three years, time will tell whether Haas made the right decision or not. If Lewis Hamilton or George Russell are unable to compete during a Formula One race weekend, Mick Schumacher will be available at Mercedes to take their place. He will spend the majority of his time working with Mercedes in the factory simulator to develop the W14, which will participate in Formula One in 2023, despite having the title of team driver. In a statement, Schumacher stated, I regarded this as a new start, and I am just pleased and grateful to Toto and everyone involved for putting their trust in me. Mick is a young driver with talent, and we're excited to have him on board. According to team owner Toto Wolf, he puts in a lot of effort, approaches issues calmly and systematically, and is still eager to grow as a driver. We all know that, with two years of Formula One racing experience under his belt, he will be prepared to jump into the car right away and take the position of either Lewis or George, should the need arise, Wolf added. What do you think of Schumacher joining Mercedes and following his father's footsteps? Let us know in the comments section below. What do you think of Schumacher joining Mercedes because he found it difficult to learn on a team like Haas? If you enjoyed it, please click on the like button. If you're new, click subscribe. Thank you.